Hello, uh, today I did a speed paint because I didn't want to make a new episode. Um, so I decided that this would be a good way to repay you guys because I didn't make an episode this weekend. Um, so going into the sketch, I had no idea what the heck I was doing. Yeah, I didn't know what I wanted to draw or anything. I think it turned out pretty well. Um... It was originally going to be Devin, and then I just scratched that idea because I, I didn't care. Um, I might not talk that much for this voiceover or whatever. Uh, I really don't know how to explain anything, uh, but this video, I guess, oh, uh, those are ears because it was going to be Devin. <laughs> well, I scratched that. Anyway, but this video, I wanted to do it because I had just seen uh, one of Lavender Town's videos and that motivated me to draw for like the first time in 3,000 years. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from Lavender Town and Echo Berry, my favorite drawing YouTubers. Also, learn to draw manga. She's great too. Um, but like... Yeah, right now this is kind of turning into an emo guy. I don't know what I was doing here. I really, this is not a very complex uh, drawing program. It's Autodesk Sketchbook and it's on my iPad because I don't feel like actually buying a drawing tablet. That's, yeah. Um, if you couldn't tell, this guy seriously needs a, be a belt. Oof. Also, sorry if you can hear background noise like wind because uh, it's really windy outside lately and it's cold winter time where I'm at. Uh, right now, I'm destroying his arm because I drew it in a pocket and uh, that, was, that was a really bad decision on my part. I kind of wanted it to look like he was like, a, I don't know what I was going for here, but it looked kind of decent mostly not um this arm gave me a lot of trouble because hands terrible thing nobody likes drawing hands oh uh, so i just really didn't like drawing his arm and yeah uh Yep, don't, don't mind that, but uh, I end up just stopping recording and just finish the hand because I feel like I couldn't do it because I was recording and uh, that picture was the reference I used and it still kind of turned out really bad, so. And that hand, yeah, it's supposed to be holding fire. It really doesn't look like that. Uh, after my rough sketch, like real rough sketch, uh, I did this cleanup sketch, and, like, I don't normally do that. I normally just, like, do a sketch layer, like, a cleanup sketch is what it looks like without doing the rough sketch. But I feel like this drawing turned out a lot better than my normal ones because I did the rough sketch. Um, also, I think it just helped me to, like, not be scared of messing up. So. Okay, so I figured out something to talk about. Uh, there's, uh, these memes yeah, memes about this Netflix movie. I think it's a movie called Bird Box. And all I've basically been seeing on YouTube is like those Bird Box drawing challenges where they have the blindfolds on and it's just really kind of stupid. Also, uh, that nose makes this guy look like a pig. So I end up changing that, see? And, um,. His body wasn't centered, and oh my gosh, do you hear that wind? 
that's terrifying. I end up changing his mouth too, because I wanted him to kind of be smirking, but then I realized, wait a minute, that's not in his character design. Also, this is just some random guy I came up with. I think I'm going to put him in my book, The Night Realm on Wattpad, pretty sure. I don't know. He'll end up there sometime, sometime in that series, probably. I wanted to put him in the Ill Appearances series, but I decided against it. I haven't come up with a name for him yet, either, so if any of you guys can think of a name for him, put it in the comments. Also, I just realized that I forgot to say that right now what I'm doing is the line art, and I really am kind of bad at this. I really could have done it in Medibang, but that doesn't have the speed paint uh, option. Also, I could have done the coloring in Medibang too, and just not recorded it, because the fill tool or bucket tool doesn't work here, and uh, coloring all of this stuff was pretty tedious and annoying, and I probably should have cut it out of the footage, but, you know, it would have made the video a lot shorter. I probably should have done that. Maybe. No idea. <laughs> so, I did look up some shading tips because most of the time my shading is horrendous. And, uh, it kind of helped. I'm not really sure. I used the airbrush for the lighting because the pen just didn't look right and like that's kind of like a forbidden subject you know don't use the airbrush for shading because apparently that's really bad it does really look terrible and oh my gosh he looks like he has a mop on his head right now uh i wanted to make his hair black but then i was too lazy to shade black so i was like how about we just do a dark red because that way i don't have to figure out the lighting like it won't be that hard because you know we're all about being lazy here like I feel like this took more effort than making an episode but i really wanted to draw something because i haven't been able to do that lately like i haven't if i've started a sketch i would either not finish the sketch or finish the sketch and just have no will to do the line art and it's been like that lately also, there's, like, parts where I'm scribbling on the side, and that's because, uh, I don't actually remember, but when I was doing the shading, I was scribbling on the side because I had the opacity with pressure, like, if it was light pressure, it'd be, like, 23% or whatever, but it wasn't working, and I was so upset because that's how I normally do my shading, and it just threw me off, so, mmm, that's... Some great background noise trying to film right now. But like I really hated coloring this. And I probably should have done it in Medibang. I instantly regret all of my life choices. Also, there's a part on his hair that uh, I don't color for a while and I don't realize that it's uncolored. It you probably could have seen it earlier if you were looking for that, but I don't really know. So like Sorry if that bothers you. Also, that arm really looks bad. And I kind of hate the shading that I did on the jacket thing that he's wearing. Because I have no concept of clothing wrinkles. It's just lines and places so I can try to make it look good. But obviously, I'm still an amateur at this. So, I mean, I guess it's okay. It looks half decent, sort of. I'm probably going to stop the coloring right here. Maybe. No, I'll keep it going because I literally forgot to sh uh, film most of the shading process with all the lighting. And I was like, oh, this is going to make the video too long. I'll just stop. So, uh, right here, I'm just dying inside because all of... I really hate, uh, the 
Autodesk on the iPad is different than the one on the phone because of the way it's set up and it's really hard to get used to. I haven't had my iPad for a while, like I got it for Christmas. And I mean, I've only been drawing digital for a little over a year now. I started November 2017. So, oh my goodness, my first drawing wasn't that bad. But like, uh, it was just like, it was a small drawing, so it kind of looked okay. But like the second one that I really count as my first drawing looked horrendous. Uh, it's on my Pagey World account that I'm not going to link in the description because that's where all my crusty drawings are. Also, my old DeviantArt account. My new one is not that good either because I still had no concepts of shading. I mean, I, I really don't have any now, but like, in that one Rin and Len thing that I made, I was like the first post to have on my new DeviantArt account. Um, I guess, like, I used the airbrush for that and I really shouldn't have. Also here, I decided that I was going to follow some shading tips that I found on the internet because it seemed good enough. And, uh, also it was a Lavender Town video, so it's reliable. Uh... I use like a reddish tone for the shading and I normally just use like a darker color to the one that I'm shading over top of which you're really not supposed to do that <laughs> apparently. And of course, you know, I'm still a noob so uh, shading the eye was kind of bad. Also I'm coloring in the corner so I know well, what shading colors I used just in case I had to use them again because I normally blend them out. So, also, I hate the shading stuff that I did here. It's supposed to make it look fluffy, but I don't think it did its job. Uh, I really don't know what else to say at this point. I don't know, uh, the shading's gonna cut off soon. I end up changing the background color, but I don't think it really did anything because for the background, uh, there's only, like, a little bit of the actual color sticking out, so I probably could have just colored it that color, but, you know, oh well. While I was shading this, I forgot to shade the shirt, the undershirt that he's wearing. And, um, even though, like, I shaded the part on his stomach where it, like, lifts, whatever. Also here, I was trying to look cool with my shading, and then it just didn't work out. Uh, so, yeah. Also, I completely neglect the fire because I wanted to use an add glow wear for that. So, I just thought it would be impractical to color with everything else. So, also here's where I do that terrible shading on his jacket, so. And now I'm coloring the fire, which I did something on like the wrong layer. And then I was so confused as to why there was like a splotch that the orange wouldn't color over top of it. I was like, oh, see, now I'm smart. But... I don't really know if this looks like fire. I mean, I'm really bad at drawing fire. I don't know. I drew a hand holding fire for something for school. And it had like a short story to go with it. But uh, now I'm adding the shading to the fire. And then I end up blending the colors, the base colors of the fire together. Because that made it look more like fire and not like... A splotch of color on a amateur artist drawing. For the hair, I did... I normally don't... 
before I didn't shade the hair like I do now. I've only been doing this way for a little bit. It's the way that I saw on Learn to Draw Manga's channel. And I guess I don't do it to its full extent. I just do it like halfway. And here I'm adding a highlight, which kind of looks crappy. I mean, I didn't add a gradient to the hair like I would normally do. Probably should have, but I didn't. And I think I colored in that little piece of hair that I was talking about earlier. Also, right now I did an overlay layer so that it made everything look dark because he's going to be standing in an alley. And uh, apparently... It really didn't work well on the white, so I'm just coloring over top of the white now to make it look darker. I probably should have done that on the eyes, too, but then I forgot, so... Uh... I also forgot to shade his mouth and his nose, so uh, I do that, and I think... Now, uh, yeah, I'm starting on the background. Which, that really didn't work out. So, I end up doing um, this thing that we learned in art class. It's the one point perspective thing. And it kind of helped. I'm not really sure. But like, see so yeah, I get rid of that and then I do like the point in the middle. The vanishing point and then draw up to there. So it turned out pretty decent. So uh, now I'm erasing the extra stuff and I end up again cutting off the recording because I uh, wanted to finish the background and I feel like that would have taken a lot of time. I think the background took me like 20 minutes even though it should have taken me only like 10 and uh, I completely forget to turn on the recording again because I had already added a window to the background and shading with the lamp and everything and um here it cuts off again so uh now i have that shading and i add stars too i end up switching the side of the window because he's holding flames in his left hand and i uh, wanted to to be on the other side so it kind of evened out the light and um yeah this is basically where the drawing ends so this is the finished drawing I'm really happy with it. Also, I went back and I shaded the shirt. So, with that said, thanks for watching.